something on the order of six to seven years to make back the payments that they were offering to the merchant. Let's explore the truth about American Express Amex points, those magical little rewards points that grant us freebies. Have you ever wondered about the inner workings of this business model and who is responsible for delivering all these perks? Let's delve deeper into the investigation together. American Express Company is a corporation that has been offering credit card services for over 60 years. As one of the largest credit card companies in the world, American Express generates revenue from purchases made at partner stores, yearly membership fees and interest income. The company deserves praise for providing diverse free incentives to its clients. These incentives include cash, flights, theme park passes, rental cars, hotel upgrades, and gift cards. These rewards can be earned by simply making purchases you would have made anyway. Did you know that the very first version of American Express started as a freight forwarding and mail service company? It wasn't until they added a money order feature a few years later that they entered the financial service industry. Fast forward to the 1950s and American Express introduced its first charge cards. Since then, they have become one of the most recognized recognizable credit card companies globally. American Express offers a variety of digital products as well as credit card services. Let's begin by comprehending the Amex point system. You accumulate reward points by purchasing American Express credit card. Then you can exchange these points for various items, including travel, lodging, and even store gift cards. I mean, it's like a fantastic bargain. If you possess a membership rewards card, you can earn one point for every dollar you spend on purchases. You can use these points in any way you like, with a diverse range of retail, travel, and entertainment partners. Additionally, you can acquire points by utilizing supplementary cards, which you are free to give to your loved ones for making purchases. Furthermore, you can earn additional points by referring your friends to apply for an American Express card. How does American Express make money? American Express operates through three main divisions. Global Consumer Services Group, GCSG, Global Commercial Services, GCS, and Global Merchant and Network Services, GMNS. The company generates income primarily from cardholders and merchant partners. To increase the volume of transactions made with its cards, American Express and employs a spend-centric business strategy, which includes promotional incentives and low fees. American Express generates revenue through various means, such as interest on unpaid accounts, card fees, conversion fees, other sources, and fees charged to cardholders. However, the majority of the company's revenue comes from discount revenue earned from purchases made at partner merchants worldwide. So how does it make revenue from American Express cardholders? Unfortunately, many American Express cardholders miss payments on time and do not fully comprehend how the company operates. This behavior contributes to the sustainability of their business model, as late fees and interest charges increase profits for the issuing company. However, it's important to note that this is common with all credit cards. In 2020, American Express had approximately 68.9 million customers and charged around $870.7 billion in revolving credit. American Express has a unique approach to credit cards issuing that goes beyond charging late fees. Unlike other credit card companies, American Express charges cardholders an annual fee for using certain cards. These fees can range from $550 for publicly available cards to $5,000 for the exclusive Centurion card, which requires a $10,000 initiation fee and is only available by invitation. American Express also offers free co-branded and basic cards to its customers. In addition to regular charges, American Express also earns revenue from extra fees like charges for late payments and currency exchange rates. So what will be American Express's merchant revenue? But here's the catch. We need to remember that someone pays for the benefits we enjoy. And who might that be? The business owner of course. When you use your Amex card to purchase, the merchant pays American Express a percentage of the sales as interchange fees. The expense associated with each transaction may fluctuate, but then can potentially make up 3-4% to of the total cost. As customers, we bear these costs as they are passed on to us through higher prices or reduced benefits from retailers. This means that we are indirectly paying for the reward points we accumulate. Primary source of American Express's profits is discount revenue, also known as merchant fees. American Express is known for charging higher merchant fees than its competitors. However, they announced in March 2018 that they will reduce merchant costs to the lowest level in 20 years. Despite its high fees, it's reasonable for businesses to accept American Express as a payment method. This is because American Express cardholders tend to have higher incomes and spending power, making them a desirable consumer group for businesses to attract. American Express can charge merchants more than other payment processors like MasterCard and Visa due to its reputation and prestige, which helps attract more affluent cardholders who tend to spend more money on goods and services. Previously, most American 
American Express cards did not incur interest charges. Paying the full amount each month was necessary to prevent account closure and collection agency involvement for unpaid balances. This differs from other credit card companies that impose long-term consumer interest rates. American Express primarily targeted businesses instead of individual cardholders. We aim to actively involve cardholders by providing them with American Express's blue cash, associated cards, and the pay-over-time feature of green, gold, and platinum cards. When combined with the annual fee amounting to $870 billion, a small percentage of each transaction can lead to a significant return. American Express focuses on offering travel and financial services to its clients. These services are provided through credit and charge cards, which allow customers to pay at their convenience. The company, commonly referred to as Amex, generates revenue by charging fees for card usage and collecting interest on unpaid balances. American Express has a unique approach compared to other card issuers, as it focuses mainly on providing upscale products and services to customers who are willing to invest in them. Moreover, it offers travel-related services such as booking, hotels, cars, flights, and rental vehicles. In its 2020 annual report, American Express outlined four strategic initiatives it focused on in its previous year, strengthening its position as a leading provider of premium consumer services, sustaining growth in commercial payments, improving its global network, and enhancing its digital offerings. The company is expected to continue pursuing these goals in the future. American Express has suggested adjusting its business model to lower prices and increase transaction volume, especially after announcing a decrease in merchant fees in March 2018. To delve deeper into the company concept, you may wonder why businesses agree to pay these fees. The answer lies in the importance of acquiring customers. Accepting American Express cards allow businesses to attract loyal clients who prefer using these cards for their benefits and rewards. When entering a store, have you ever noticed the We Accept Amex signs? The store owners want to attract American Express customers to increase their sales. By accepting Amex, the businesses and American Express benefit from exchanging higher costs for more consumers. It's a win-win situation for all involved. Let's now discuss the magnificent benefits that we all adore. Who doesn't want that free vacation or the newest technology? We feel like we're getting something for nothing as cardholders rather frequently. In actuality, Amex generates a profit by carefully calculating those perks. Here are seven tips to help you make the most of your credit card rewards. Number one, select the right card for long-term use, taking into account sign-up bonus points. Number two, use your card for big purchases to earn more rewards. Number three, opt for a credit card when using mobile wallets. Number four, shop online through the credit card's website to earn rewards. Number five, take advantage of any benefits offered by the card issuer. Number six, use your card for business expenses to earn additional rewards. Number seven, keep track of your rewards and redeem them before they expire. It's important to remember that Amex is a business whose primary goal is profit making. They may do this by setting high redemption rates or restricting booking trips. So even if we feel like we're getting a great deal, there will always be a price to pay, which may be outlined in the fine print. So what can we gather from all of this? It's important to comprehend the hidden cost of these so-called free offerings. Don't understand me? An Amex card can still be valuable if used wisely and for rewards. But it's crucial to remember that nothing is genuinely free. Somebody is always paying. Farewell, fellow adventurers. I trust this video has shed light on the harsh reality of Amex points. More knowledge about products and services empowers us to make better consumer choices.